Washington woman was supposed to get married here in her hometown of Bakersfield, but when she showed up to a vacant building, she realized that her big day may not happen the way that she had hoped. 23 ABC's Kylie Walker has more. For the past year, a bride thought she was going to be saying I do right behind these doors, but when she got to the building just nine days before, it was vacant. That's because the owner of Metro Gallery says his business was hit hard by the pandemic. I started shaking. I started shaking because I didn't see a sign anymore. I saw the door, the glass on the door is cracked. There's nothing up here that even shows someone's been here for a while. So I, I was just, I was very distraught. I just immediately started crying. LaPortia Singh says the unexpected happened just days leading up to her wedding day. She says that she and her fiance booked and prepaid about $1,000 for their wedding venue at Metro Galleries in downtown Bakersfield back in April of 2020. She was hoping to get married by last October, but that original date fell through due to issues surrounding the pandemic. Hey, I let, I let Don know, hey, you know, it's still in the midst of COVID. We don't want to have to cut, you know, our guest list in half. You know, can I change my date? He was offering, willing to, and then we chose, ended up choosing the date for June 25th of this year. Don Martin was the owner of Metro Galleries for nearly 18 years. This was a stable in downtown Bakersfield and a place that Singh had booked events in previous years. I trusted them. I thought everything would be in good hands. Um, I really didn't have any worries about it. But Singh says between that time and now, she's been directed to three different event coordinators. She also admits that she never signed a contract with Martin. Um, you're in good hands. He reassured me. He um, told me anything I needed, we'd get it handled, covered. So not being, not hearing from him within at least the last two months for sure was kind of, was, was gave me the feeling something was wrong. Martin tells 23 ABC that he stopped booking events last year, sending an email to his clients this past April, stating in part, we made the very difficult decision to close Metro. We simply see no way to continue as the business is bankrupt and Don depleted his savings by paying staff and trying to keep the doors open. But Singh says she never received that letter and drove down a few weeks ago from where she currently lives in Washington. From there, she continued to reach out to Martin and did not receive any replies. And it wasn't until Tuesday that she arrived at the empty building. So I figured, oh, you know, he he's pretty well involved with the first Friday art events downtown. Maybe he's busy. And I just gave him leeway. Like I said, I, I trusted Don. This, I did not expect this. Now Singh says she did hear from Martin on Tuesday night where he apologized to her. Now Singh tells me she still plans to get married on her set date. She just needs to find a venue by next Friday. As for Martin, the owner of Metro Galleries, well, he tells me that he is willing to sit down with us for an interview on Wednesday, so we will have more details at that time. In Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23ABC, connecting you.